drove you to the place where you wanted to write about, you know, one of the seminal moments in history? Uh huh. The impetus for wanting to do a six day war book was kind of a Jewish midlife crisis with, with me. I didn't find out that I was a Jew till I was 12, I guess. And, uh, you know, my dad kind of laid it on me one day and I said, whoa, you know? You know, my name, Pressfield, is the uh, anglicized version of Pretzfeld, you know, other people in my, which was a German Jewish name. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I realized that, you know, my family was like really ashamed of being Jewish. But I had acquired, just like every other American kid, a healthy oh. dose of anti-Semitism, you know? Oh. I remember that my first thing that I, that I did after like a, a, a week or two of shell shock, I said, okay, I'm gonna get with the program, you know? So I'm gonna start going to Temple, I'm gonna connect with my Jewishness, da 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 da. And then came 1967, the Six Day War. And I, up until then, I had only been kind of vaguely aware that there was Israel, you right. know? I mean, it was something over there, you know? Right. And suddenly, um, all over TV were Jewish fighter pilots, Jewish paratroopers, Jewish guys kicking ass yeah. over there, you know? And the central character was Moshe Dayan mm. with the eye patch and, uh, you know, who was like a super stud, Absolutely. you know, guy with a great accent Coolest and all that kind of stuff, ever. right? <laughs> so suddenly I thought, wow, these are Jews I can relate to. Yeah, it's you know? not sticky green. My here, kind right? of yeah. guy here, you know? <laughs> I started to think to myself, wow. you know, why am I f going to Vietnam? Vietnam? I should be in Israel fighting with Moshe Dayan, you right, know? Right. And, um, but then the war was over so fast. <laughs> Six days it was over, you know? And then the next news cycle came along. So it sort of lived in, in my mind and uh, finally kind of popped out when we started talking about, you know, I would, I had the idea that I should, I should write something about that. I've written, uh, war books and about you know the Spartans, the Athenians, the Macedonians, the British, but never about my own people. Right. And I thought, and here's this great story, you know, the Six Day War, 1967, incredible story that nobody's. I mean, there've been a million books, but nobody's ever done it. You know, like I'm going to do it. You know, because there's the great Michael Oren book on the Six Day War, which is right. you know the seminal history, right? Right. But there isn't that on the ground. You smell the. Petrol, you know. You, right, right, right. You can, you can see just the devastation and and the camaraderie. And I knew if there's one guy who's going to be able to do that, it would be you because that is, I mean, that's your that's your sweet spot. You write combat action. Which I felt that. Yeah, I yeah. felt that too. You know, yeah. not being ego maniacal at all. Right. But I felt that too. As I recall, I did say to you after that initial, you know, jab you took at the proposal. Your proposal's called the Six Day War, but the penultimate moment is when they go through the Lion's Gate. What is this book about? The big statement for me was, you know, I'm a Jewish writer, I'm a Jew, this is for me, this is my odyssey as well as, as, as the book. And the theme was return from exile. I thought this also applies to any individual that we are all in a state of exile, right? And what we're exiled from is the center of our being, you know? So that sort of answered the question, why the Six Day War? Why not the Yom Kippur War? Why not the War of Joshua in 4000 BC or whatever it is? And the answer to that was, none of those wars ended with the capture, the liberation of the holiest site in oh, Judaism. Yeah, you know, yeah. you wanna know why this subject and why this writer, right? If you can answer those questions. Exactly. And probably why now and at this time.